Hi everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. Now this feels very old school, but I am standing in front of my autumn capsule wardrobe. Oh yes. <laughs> if you haven't followed along with what I've been doing on TikTok, then I'm kind of I'm trying to get back onto the capsule wardrobe bandwagon. I fell off. I fell off big time. I have bought a lot of clothing over the last two to three years. As I said on TikTok, I feel like I've basically purchased my feelings. In that time, I've grown a human. I've given birth to that human. A lot has happened. We've moved. There's been a pandemic. There's been a lot going on, but I'm like, right, okay. I feel like I have lost my way massively and I just wanna get back into it. Like there was a reason I did it for all those years. I literally did write a book on it. And I don't know, there's something in me that says, you know what, I can hold my hands up. Say I maybe made a bit of a mistake, but I'm ready to give it another go. I think also for the reason that it is just very quick and easy to get ready in the morning. I'm like, I am all about time max right now. And being able to stand in front of a rail like this and be like, right, okay, today's outfit, go. That appealed to me. So if you wanna see more of the ins and outs, like how I created this, like the method that I've been using, then definitely check out my TikTok. I will link it in the description box down below for you. Or also, if you've got my book from back in the day, dust it off. A lot of the methods I've been using are from that book. It felt very weird to read it again, but I was like, you know what? I I think I was onto something here. But in the comments to the weekly vlogs, a lot of you have been saying that you wanted to see at least some capture wardrobe content on here. So I thought showing you my seasonal capture wardrobe like quarterly might be a nice way to incorporate that. So let me know what you think. I'm just gonna start running through everything. Let's start with jackets. Um, so I thought I would use this rail, which is my bigger out of the two rails as sort of my official capture wardrobe rail and then my smaller rail has the kind of out of season things that's just my storage for the moment and one of the first things I bought onto this rail were jackets and coats so I've got the totem trench coat I mean what a classic and then also this totem black blazer as well I've basically found my blazer I have it in the black I found like a creamy one on vestiaire and I'm like right that is me I'm sorted <laughs> I've also got that trench in a more classic trench color but for me autumn is it's all about the trench coat speaking of my vestiaire find it was this I just absolutely love it so this is the totem I can't remember what the style of the jacket is called. It's exactly what I want out of a blazer. It's really oversized. It has shoulder pads, but they're very small. They just add a little something, something. It is utterly perfect. So this and the black one, I'm sorted. And then this is my vintage Max Mara jacket, which is actually, it's my most worn jacket, full stop. I absolutely love this. I wear this. I was gonna say all year round, but it's probably more of a spring, summer, autumn thing, um, but very good like transitional season jacket. My arms are aching already, but I have three tracksuits on here. So tracksuits are something that like, obviously I wear in a kind of more pajama -y way, but I also wear out the house these days. I wanna be comfortable, I'm going to the park. I need to be able to like run around and be, yeah, just very practical. So I've got one from Arquette. I've got the joggers underneath on the hanger. I've got like a cream hoodie and then I've got the gray, I think it's called like the soft French terry one from Arquette. And then this is one from American Vintage that I got right at the beginning of all of the lockdowns. And um, I think I've worn a hole. <laughs> into the bum of it because it's just so good so I definitely need to repair that. I had a huge clear out of all of my shirts like oh my word I just had so many shirts I had like three four white shirts black shirts they were kind of all the same and I really realized that all I need is like a silky kind of number and then more of like a cotton linen-y number so a lot of the linen ones have gone into storage because they're more of a summer thing and I've kept the silkier ones and um, this one is from Jeff Avenue like the brown one that I'm wearing today a nice cotton one from Marquette this is a cotton one from Jeff Avenue as well I kept these ones just because they were slightly shorter so I feel like they're a bit easier to style with trousers for more of the autumn and then this one from Dejai Studio so yeah we really cut down on the shirts and ultimately shirts for me are probably something I wear till sort of mid-October time and then it gets a bit too cold and then I fully go into knitwear anyway. I also hung up these. Normally I keep these in my basics drawer um, which I will share with you the contents of 
in a little bit and they're from base range and I've obviously got one in cream and one in black um, but I, I want to get these out so I can see them I can wear them a bit more than I usually do and they do also get really crumpled when I fold them up so they're just more practical to have them hanging up so whenever I do an autumn capsule wardrobe that was always to last me from like September October into November and then I would do a winter capsule wardrobe in December so having a little like racer pack tank might not seem like the most appropriate thing for an autumn capsule wardrobe but I thought if there was anything I was going to that was a little bit more formal a little bit dressier this is a nice option to have hanging up it feels like it, it could it could work for autumn I'm not sure it'd be my most worn thing but I just like the fact that it's there a little bit miscellaneous but I've got the mango striped dungarees I just I love these dungarees they are so great and obviously really really good for autumn as well because they're very easy to layer then I have the base range Shaw caftan wrap dress I also have this in the black I've just been wearing it. I got, what did I get down it? Chili, I got chili down it. <laughs> so that is in the wash. But I've got the cream one hanging up and then my Cezanne jumpsuit as well. I feel like this just screams autumn and I definitely learned my lesson with this. I wore this into London when it was so, 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 so warm. I really thought this was more summery than, than it was. It's, it's more of a denim texture really, so definitely feels a little bit more autumn appropriate. I really went to town with my trousers. Um, normally, back in my old wardrobe, oh, I, I still miss that built-in wardrobe. It was so perfect and I loved it. And obviously like Mark and I designed it, so it was exactly what I wanted and it just worked so well for the clothing that I had. Normally I'd have my trousers hung up and then my denim like stacked and folded but actually I was like you know what I've got a bit of space here I've got space on my rail I'm gonna have all of my trousers that I want to wear for autumn hung up and I'm, I kind of like it I've been liking having this option. I mean there are three pairs <laughs> of black trousers I feel like that's one thing I need to say the capsule wardrobe thing like over the years I've done it really quite extreme I remember trying to get down to I think it was like 33 items. I was like, 33 items I'm gonna have. That's gonna include bags and shoes and, and just everything. And I just don't think that for me anyway, like trying to hit a particular number is the way to do it for me. I think I really like the seasonal aspect of it. And I think it's really nice just to have the clothing that is appropriate for right this second and this exact season. That, that is the aspect of it that really appeals to me more than trying to really condense things down and have a really, really, really small number. I think as long as you're wearing things, you're getting use out of everything. One thing I definitely need to do is being more mindful about new things that are coming into my wardrobe. That's definitely something that I'm working on. I think those are the most important aspects, but I, I know that some people will look at this and be like, that's not a capsule wardrobe. I just think it's different for everyone. I just like the seasonal aspect. I like the fact that the tones are very similar, kind of everything works together. And for me, I'm, I'm really trying to work on like consuming less, wearing more. That's the aim of the game here. But yeah, I feel like I need to say this because some people will be like, girl, that's so many clothes. <laughs> and it is. <laughs> and I definitely don't need three pairs of uh, black trousers. Although one, to be fair, is denim, they're jeans. These are from Totem. These are just like the classic, more like slightly tailored wide leg. And then I've also got these Jeff Avenue on the go, more silkier ones. I've got a black pair that matches the black shirt. I've got a brown pair that matches this brown shirt. And I kind of like them because they're almost like the spring, summer, autumn version of linen trousers. Linen trousers for me, I love them. Although I don't think I wore them as much this summer. I think they really reminded me of my pregnancy wardrobe from last summer. So I definitely didn't get as much wear out of them, but I like this, this silky fabric makes them a little bit more spring appropriate and a little bit more autumn appropriate, I feel. So hence why they have remained in the autumn capsule wardrobe. So here are the brown ones, like I said, like, oh, what an outfit. I feel like these are my go-to as well. Like having some sort of matching coordinating set is such a good thing to have in your wardrobe because whenever I'm like, I really don't know what to wear today, putting on a head to toe number just makes me feel very put together, very polished, very classic. It's one of my three words, don't you know? Jeans wise, I've got three pairs. I've got these vintage Levi's 501s from Cheekies Online that I'm wearing. Then I've got the Acne Studios ones that are slightly like tighter fitting and then the redone high-rise stovepipe ones, which is just like 
the classic, classic blue jean. And I feel like they're all slightly different washes as well. So they're all, they're doing slightly different things in my wardrobe. Now these definitely feel a little bit more summery and were perhaps something that people might expect to be going into storage now. But I keep seeing, obviously these are very similar to like the row ones, which are literally a thousand pounds. They're not the row ones, they're the Arquette dupe, which I think annoyingly they've sold out of, but there's definitely similar ones you can find online. This sort of crinkle satin, ooh, they look so gorgeous on camera. They are gorgeous in real life too. But I keep seeing them styled with knitwear, styled mainly with knitwear really. <laughs> I don't know where else I was going with that list. And they just look really cool. Like knitwear, these, a pair of flip flops. It's that very like Scandi cool girl going about running some errands kind of casual vibe, which I, I don't know, I really like. So I thought it'd be fun to have these in my autumn capture wardrobe and just see if I wear them, see if I, see if I can rock that look quite honestly. Then we've got three pairs of neutral trousers. I feel like I can justify this because they're all very, very different. Very, very different. I've got a wide leg pair of denim trousers from Cos. These are from Zara and they're like a cream leather straight leg number. And then I've got the Tansy Frankie Shop, like actually more of a tailored trouser. Let's have a quick chat about bags. Cause I feel like when I did my clear outs on TikTok that is currently going on now, um, I, I really downsized in the bag category. I was like, right, okay. There was, I had quite a few and I think there were four in the end that I really loved and they're like perfectly good bags, but I was like, I have not worn these bags in the last two or three years, so they've got to go. But the ones that I've kept are ones that you would have seen and I wear all the time, but I'll quickly chat you through them. I've got two from Loewe. These are kind of in the small bag category. This is the Puzzle in Midnight Navy, of course. I think this is now five or six years old. I've had it a while. I absolutely love it. And then this is the Hobo puzzle bag. So it's slightly longer, more of a baguette type shape, and then also just has the over the shoulder strap. Whereas this one has more multifunctional ways of wearing it. I wear them both a lot. And I do like this one because it feels a little bit dressier. So great for going out. Oh, my Anderson's belt. <laughs> I forgot about that. A black leather belt, definitely a must. And then two bigger bags. This is the Celine tote bag that I found on Vestier. You know what? Probably, oh, is this my favorite Vestier buy? It might be. I, I love it. I wear it so often and it's absolutely gigantic. So definitely works in a very practical way for me too. And then this is a more recent buy off of Vestier. And this is one of the taupe Celine hobo bags with the gold detailing. <gasps> I've looked on Vestier Collective for years for a bag like this and one came up and I just couldn't help myself. It is utterly perfect. Look, I'll wear it on the other side. Oh, I love it. The size, the color, the detailing. Um, yeah, I very much feel very done, very complete, very content in the bag department. Okay, shoes. I've obviously got what is on my feet right now. The, the Birkenstock Eva sandals. I just, I live in these, but I have also got the Mango Chanel Dad Dupe ones as well, of course, such a good, transitional shoe and I, I feel for me I love like one of my favorite favorite styles is like jeans with a really heavy cozy knit with sandals I know there are about four days a year where that is an appropriate thing to wear but I also don't care about having cold feet I would rather have cold feet and wear that because it is my favorite favorite outfit formula uniform I'm so excited for those days. Also for those days, we have some suede numbers. These are from Marquette, just suede loafers and obviously the Birkenstock loafers. Like I said, trying to be very mindful about things that I buy for the wardrobe, but if I manage to stumble across a pair of these Boston clogs in the taupe, I might have to do it. I might have to do it because they're just brilliant and I really, really love them. And the taupe I think would work well with a lot of things in the wardrobe. They're just always out of stock and that's probably a good thing. My Converse, of course, just a very practical shoe. And then I've got three pairs of boots, two from Dear Francis, the Park boots and the Tony boots. And then these Ganny ones that I found on the Outnet. Um, the last pair I had just got too small for me. So I had to sell them, absolutely gutted. They were one of my favorite pairs of boots, but I found them on the outlet. They're a slightly different um, color of mock rock leather. The ones I had before were this patent kind of burgundy brown. These are definitely more of a true brown, but I love the cowboy boot style and they're just really handy for dressing things up a little bit, looking a little bit more put together. So now you're wondering where's the knitwear and where are the basics? And this is where I'm kind of switching things up a little bit. Um, I don't, 
hang my knitwear and my knitwear is in the other side of the room, all neatly folded. So I'm kind of giving myself free reign with the knitwear. There's two really chunky, chunky jumpers that I've put aside for winter, but with everything else, I'm like, you know what? If I want to wear it, why restrict myself? I've had a huge purge of my knitwear, like big time. I probably got rid of about 50% of it, but what remains, I love. Some of it I've had for a long time as well. So I'm like, you know what? Let's, let's just wear it. I've got three beige <laughs> jumpers. Again, they're all very different, very, very, very different. Um, one's totem and slightly more cropped and like a wide arm. One is from Arquette, it's a heavy wool jumper. And then the other one at the bottom is totem and it's quite oversized, like a really bell sleeved fit. Um, if you wanna see me try all of these on, I know I keep mentioning the TikTok, but it took me a very long time to go through every single thing in my wardrobe and basically try it all on. Um, and that's a little series I'm doing on there at the moment. So check that out. I've got one gray oversized cashmere jumper from Arquette, um, one Cezanne Gaspard uh, cardigan in a nice little camel. And then also this camel cashmere knit from Mango that's like a polo neck style. Um, again, just kind of nice to have slightly thinner knit options for days when it's like, kind of a little bit cold but still a bit warm at the same time and then finally the dark knits i've got a navy heavy wool jumper from arquette um this is from equipment actually the black cashmere jumper gosh i've had this in my wardrobe really since i started the capture wardrobe so like five six years a toe 10 black ribbed knit that i found on vestiaire and then also the Cezanne gaspard cardigan in the black and then the final piece of the puzzle is this, this is just my basics. I bring it a little bit closer so you can see, but at the top I have a Razorback tank in white, a beige and a black. Then I've got the Arquette crew neck jumper. And again, I've got it in a white, a cream. The black is currently in the wash. I've got the Arquette heavyweight t-shirts, again, in the white, the cream and the black is in the wash. And then also an Arquette long sleeved t-shirt. And of course, in the white, the cream and the black. So because this is all organized, it sits in my drawer, it's ready to go. I didn't see the point of pulling this apart and being like, oh, I can have two t-shirts or I won't have any racer back tanks or anything like that. I might as well just wear these, use these, they're organized, they're ready to go. And ultimately things like the tanks will be really good for layering. Whereas the t-shirts are obviously just good to wear on their own with like the jackets, whatever, you catch my drift. Um, I really like this drawer. When the black t-shirts are in it, it looks chef's kiss, let me tell you. So that is a tour of everything that is in my autumn capsule wardrobe. Let me know if you enjoyed it and I can make it a little series so every time I do a little rejig I can show you what has made the cut and what is inside. Um, I know I keep going on about it but I really I'm doing a lot on TikTok these days there's a lot going on on there so if you want to follow along that is the place to see all of the capsule wardrobe stuff and YouTube is more a place for like behind the scenes life vlogging that sort of business um, but thank you so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next week with a brand new one bye